Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So as you can see here, I have the LG Velvet and also the LG dual screen. This is exciting because I had heard rumors that the LG Velvet would support a second screen attachment. But up until now, I had not seen any photos of the second screen. Like we have seen plenty of photos on the phone already, but this, I only heard rumors. I didn't know it existed until the package from LG arrived today. And it indeed, it's a real thing. I like it because I am a fan of the LG dual screen. I think it's a very practical and more affordable solution to the foldable phones. Now, don't get me wrong. I definitely think foldable phones are indeed the future. But for those who don't want to pay that markup right now, who don't want to pay, you know, the extra $2,000 for foldable phone or deal with the fact that it's slightly not as durable, LG's dual screen, it's a very nice alternative instead. Whew. Okay, so even with the phone covered up, I can already see how curvy this is. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is nice. This is nice. So this is a very eye-catching color. This is very curvy. The screen curves on left and right, but the bottom and the top are actually kind of flat. I wonder if it stand up by itself. Actually, no, it does not. Okay, so we have earbuds here because the LG Velvet still has a headphone jack. And I am assuming this one still has that audio file quad DAC. A charging port brick and a USB-C cable. And then let's see what's in here. Semi-jetted tool and papers. Yeah, that's about it. I can already see the top bezels are quite noticeable, even with the screen off. And there's a water drop notch, which you can already see right here. Yeah, so the bezels are noticeable. But LG actually kind of does this on purpose because LG, you know, I've spoken to people inside. They, they're they very keen on not having accidental palm touches. Like their thing is like, it's not all about just trying to look the flashiest, but then it's hard to use. They just want to make things more practical. So this is a adapter that you will need to charge the phone when it's inside the case. It's a magnetic adapter so for you to plug in the USB-C port because the USB-C port is covered otherwise when the phone is in there. Let's put it in. Oh yeah, this is a lot lighter and slimmer than the previous LG dual screen devices. Oh man, I'm liking this. Anyway, you guys know the drill. Oh, there's a piece of sticker up here, okay. You guys know the drill, I'm gonna set everything up and then I will be back. All right guys, I'm back with the LG Velvet in the dual screen attachment. So first things first, some of you guys may notice a change in audio quality in this part of the clip compared to earlier. That's because I am shooting this video with Sony's new ZV-1. This is a vlogging camera. And the first part of the video, the unboxing part, I shot it with just the ZV-1's built-in mic because one of the features of this camera is that it has a it has a better mic, so I wanted to test that out. But ultimately, it's still gonna be better audio quality if you plugged in an external microphone, which is what I've done here now with the Comica Boom XD. So audio quality is definitely gonna be better at this part than the unboxing part. But the unboxing part, this audio should still be pretty respectable, at least if Sony's claims are to be believed. Anyway, LG Velvet. So one of the biggest complaints of LG's previous dual screen devices, such as the LG V50 or the LG GAX, was that when the phone was in the dual screen case, it was a little bit too bulky and too heavy to use. Now, I personally didn't have that problem because I think I'm conditioned to use big phones, but a lot of American reviewers complained about it. LG's heard you because the LG Velvet dual screen, it's pretty thin and pretty light. Well, relatively anyway. So I have here a food scale. This is a scale that um, back when I used to lift weights, seriously, I used to um, use this to weigh my food. So I would put a piece of chicken breast on it and be like, oh, okay, so this is like 750 calories. Anyway, so this is how much the phone with the dual screen weighs. So it weighs a little bit over 300 grams. I think that's 305 grams. That's, that converts to about 0.6 pounds for Americans. So a little bit over half a pound, that's nothing. And in terms of overall thickness, 
I don't know the exact measurement of this, but it is pretty thin. I have here the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro with a leather case. And the LG Velvet dual screen is just a little bit thicker. And I have here the iPhone 11 Pro Max in a leather case. Yeah, I like using leather cases. And yeah, you see the thickness are comparable. The LG Velvet dual screen is still a little bit thicker, but it's, it's not that much thicker than any of your modern day flagship phone with a case. Now the gap between the two screens is still here. This is my last major complaint. I wish LG would shrink this just a little bit more, but it is what it is at this point. Okay, let's go over the specs now. So the LG Velvet screen is 6.8 inches with a resolution of 1080 by 2460. And I believe the specs are exactly the same across both screens. So these are OLED panels. The phone runs on a Snapdragon 765 or Snapdragon 765G, depending on your region. Now the G is slightly, slightly more capable for gaming, but we're talking about like a minor, minor increase. To be honest, it's really not gonna be a deal. The Snapdragon 765 is not a flagship chipset, but unless you're editing 4K videos, I don't think you're gonna notice. If you're just watching YouTube, running Instagram, go, going on Facebook, sending emails, you're not gonna notice any difference. There's a 4,300 milliamp hour battery inside and the camera system, you have a 48 megapixel main camera with an additional ultra wide camera of eight megapixels. So I'm a little bit disappointed at the ultra wide camera just being eight megapixel. I wish it was at least like 12, but this is not a flagship device. This is a mid tier device. So the field of vision is pretty wide and I don't see any barrel distortion. So this phone is technically still under embargo, so I am not allowed to review the phone yet. So this is just an unboxing and really quick hands-on and tell you about the device. I'm, I can't really judge the photos against other phones yet or like really evaluate day-to-day -day use. That has to come after the embargo lifts. In addition to the wide-angle camera, there's also, ooh, a little bit slippery. There's also a five megapixel depth sensor that will help you take portrait shots. Okay, I think edge detection looks pretty good. And one of the features that LG introduced with the LG3, uh, LG V60 that is still here is a 3D effect on. So if you use Facebook, you probably have seen this before. It takes a little bit of time to process, but you can take a photo using the depth camera and then do stuff like this. I think it's fun. Some people are gonna say it's a gimmick, but hey, as long as it doesn't really get in the way of your day-to-day -day phone usage, gimmicks are fine. So just a quick overview of what you can do with the dual screen. The most obvious usage that I really like is being able to run two apps side by side. So for example, I can go on the internet and read article while having a YouTube video play on the side, or I can have WhatsApp open. Yeah, I, that was one of my major usage, usages when I went to Thailand with the LG V50 last fall. I was trying to find my Airbnb, but the directions were a little bit confusing. So what I did was I have WhatsApp open on one screen, so I was talking to my Airbnb host while I had Google Maps on the other screen, and she was guiding me on how to find her Airbnb. So it's stuff like that, it's very useful, and. You can do so with a foldable phone, but a foldable phone, it's a lot more expensive. And if you use an iPhone, you're screwed. You can't run two apps side by side on an iPhone. Another thing you can do is stretch one app across two screens. Now, some people think this is pointless because of the huge gap, but I actually like it because I read a lot of articles and I just think this makes reading a little bit easier. You can show more information. And in certain videos like US sports, TV where they're always arguing, I think the hinge in between actually adds to the immersion. Another usage of the LG Velvet dual screen is you can have a game running on one screen with digital controls, on-screen joysticks on the second screen. You can have documents running on one screen and a full screen keyboard running on the bottom. I'm a really fast typer as some of you guys may know, so just the fact that the keyboard is not stretched on a larger canvas allows me to type a lot easier well not a lot easier i would say like maybe five percent faster or i can even put it on a table and use it like a laptop and yeah by the way arrest the cops who murdered breonna taylor so anyway 
That's about it for this first impressions of the LG Velvet dual screen. I will definitely be making this my daily driver and using it heavily and then when embargo lifts, I'll have a full in-depth review. I think for the most part, I know what to expect because I'm very familiar with LG software and camera. I think the cameras are going to be pretty serviceable, but then if you really nitpick like the ultra wide camera, for example, it's going to fall short to something like what the OnePlus 8 Pro or Huawei P40 Pro Plus is doing. To me, this phone, once again, the standout feature is the dual screen. This is what sets LG apart from everything else. If you want to run two apps side by side, or just want more screen for productivity, but you don't want to pay $2,000, then this is a much, much more affordable option. Now the pricing for this, it's gonna differ from region to region. You can probably get the phone with the second screen for under like 700, 800 US dollars. That's in Hong Kong. If you're in the US or in Europe, whenever they launch this, prices might creep up a little bit more. Anyway, that's it for this first look at the LG Velvet Dual Screen. I'm always a fan when company tries something different and think out of the box. Because as much as I like, say the OnePlus 8 Pro or the Oppo Find X2 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, the reality is they all look the same. Like this phone looks just like the OnePlus 8 Pro, looks just like the Vivo X50, looks just like everything else. LG is out here doing something different and I think we should applaud that. Anyway, that's it for now. If you want more content, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching, stay healthy, stay safe.